is not dog poo, <laughs> even though it looks like it. <coughs> you want to start again? This, I just had that in the back of my throat. This is some of the best stuff you'll ever taste. It's chocolate mousse. It's made from avocado. <laughs> You S can't S carry on this. Mrs. I'm S stopping you. I think it's all just trusting yourself. Prepare, practice, and then trust yourself. But don't try and reinvent the wheel and, and back your instinct. That's a hell of a shot. That wasn't that short, so think about it. Learn from it. What did you do? Still, you got a set base. You were still, and then you could just swing through the ball. Power from the ground up. You weren't moving. Awesome. Well done. So learn. That's so good. Well done. That's okay. Didn't nail that one. Okay, probably threw your head back a bit compared to the other one. You weren't sort of set and head eyes on the ball. A little bit slower to get your hands through as well. I think where you're at now, you still need to spend a lot of time grooving your technique and working your technique. Okay, but you also need sessions like this where you just have freedom to explore. Because that's how your game can grow and you can start realising, oh, I've never done that before, I could work on that. And in a month you're playing that shot in a game. You can't always stay in your comfort zone, you've got to try new things and get out of your, sort of the speed limit sometimes. It's been good, you've got to just keep exploring, you've got to be willing to make mistakes. All good, so think about it. Think about how it felt and what you did and learn. Probably lifted your head a bit early. Like you're trying it though. Hey vlog, I've just got home from coaching and spent the last hour and a half um, engaging with our Instagram community, hanging out in the DMs, replying to um, people's questions and also asking them for a favour, asking them to subscribe and leave a review for our podcast. So guys, if you're watching this, please subscribe to our podcast and if you can, leave a review. Give us um, a, a few nice words if you enjoy it. There's a lot of value that we're giving there with some great guests. So um, to boost us um, on the algorithm, we need uh, lots of reviews. So please do that for us. And then also just been speaking to people about where they live and whether we can get um, over to where they live because a lot of people want to work with us. So capturing their data so that when we uh, when we get over, when we head there, we let them know and people don't miss out because we had that happen in Melbourne last week. Lots of people wanted to work with me and unfortunately we couldn't get to everyone. So we can then let everyone know. So um, send us a DM if you want to work with us sometime in the future, no matter where you live. And if we have enough um, demand for it, then we might uh, make a trip to that part of the world. So off to have some dinner with Mrs. S now and then off to bed for an early night. Hey legends, it's 9.40pm, I'm just about to go to bed, but just came in to check my phone quickly, I haven't been on it for the last hour or so, um, and we have a viral video on TikTok. This video uh, Sperry posted earlier today has now got 65,000 likes, uh, 1.2 million views, and it's gone up 200,000 views in the past 10 minutes since I checked my phone. Our inbox is going nuts here, as you can see, it's just increasing. Um, it's just going absolutely nuts. Our followers up the top here, so that just keeps ticking over. Our followers are just going up. We think we've gained about 15,000 in the last hour. It's unbelievable. We've had some really great videos in the past. Um, this is a good quality video, not the best production value, but um, lots of good, it's short and sharp, but good quality content about playing through the leg side but it's really exciting to see um, it absolutely going nuts. We don't know why, it's just hit an algorithm and TikTok's obviously pushing it into people's feeds. They're enjoying it, they're following us, they're liking it. So exciting times. We'll see what this is at tomorrow morning. About to go to bed, see what followers we're at. We're at 65.3 now, 9.40 p.m. And it's at 1.2 million views, 65.9 thousand likes. So let's hope it keeps running, baby. Hey legends, so what you're about to just get a look at is a session that Skulls has with Australian under 19 batter 
Sam Fanning. So Sam moved over to WA at the start of this season and plays for Skulls Club at Perth. And obviously he's just come back from the Australian Under-19s team um, and had a net session with Skulls focusing on spin and using your feet to spin. So what you're about to watch, the emphasis on the session was really making sure you're using your feet well to spin. So I hope you enjoy it. Just not fully balanced, Awesome, awesome. Nice, good hands, good feet. Put him away here, Stats, put him away. Hey, that's the one we're trying to avoid, just from the crease. No run. Hey! Oh, camera. Oh. Good, good. Good. Use those glutes, bring the hips through. Try and have the paws out the top, little paws. Nice. Keep going, ready to work, mate. Boy, she got 35 seconds. Four. Morning legends, as you will have seen, we just finished a very gruelling gym session. I was at, I was cooked, I obviously missed last week for being in Melbourne. Um, so I struggled, it was tough. I took Becca along with me this morning for her first session with that group. Obviously she trains with me on a Thursday morning and Reedy came along for his first session. How did you find it, big fella? Ridiculous, mate. It was very tough, but uh, yeah, I feel right now. Yeah, always hard at the time. Um, you dread it, you feel sort of nervous about it, but always good to get it done and you feel much better for it later. It was really tough, so we're just going to have a protein shake now, um, refuel, and then lots of rehydrating for the rest of the day. Awesome to get a session done first thing in the morning. It makes you feel good for the rest of the day. Hey legends, it is 8.30 p.m. and I am about to tuck into a delicious dinner. I've uh, been looking forward to this all afternoon. It's been a long afternoon, uh, seven sessions. Um, it's been hot, muggy, I feel really hot and sweaty. It's been a long day, got up early and went to the gym as you know. Um, but really looking forward to this. Um, cooked myself up a little treat while Mrs. S is out for a work function. Been watching some Gary Vee. And so I believe the great way to be great at anything is to be a practitioner. Um, you know, it's kind of, people ask me all the time, I, I make the analogy, you know, you can read about push-ups, but if you want the results that push-ups give you, you have to do the push-ups. Absolute legend, someone we've, I've learned a lot from over the years, it's something we sort of model ourselves on here at Cricket Mentoring. We're constantly keeping up to date with what he's doing, and he is someone who has inspired me to do all the content I've done over the years. We've changed our, um, our daily vlog, my daily vlog, to a weekly vlog, um, modeling what he's doing. Um, so just been enjoying him, learning from him, keeping up to date with what he's doing while I've been cooking, and now it's time to tuck in and enjoy a enjoy my meal and a glass of red wine. You beauty. Morning, legends. I am out going for a walk with my little daughter Scarlett. It is such a beautiful time of the day. I love to get out early in the morning if I can. Um, thought just to take Scarlett for a little walk, get some fresh air. I'm um, trying to get some lactic acid out of the legs from yesterday before another session in the gym today. So if you can get up early and go for a walk, it's so therapeutic, so nice just to get into nature, hear the birds, you can hear them in the background, um, get fresh air into your lungs. It's, it's very good for you and I highly recommend it. Hey vlog, just down at the gym again, my Thursday morning session. I'm about to get absolutely hurt. 
got a knot in my stomach. I'm training one-on-one -on -one with the trainer, Edo. It is not going to be much fun, I don't think, but it's got to be done. Session done. Always, always, always harder, like in your mind before you get there than it actually is. It is tough. It's painful, but no better feeling than walking out now after an hour feeling bloody good about yourself physically and mentally. Um, it's a beautiful day here. Awesome to have got that done. Whew, it was tough, tough session. Always tough working with the trainer, Edo. He's a legend, good friend, um, but we train bloody hard. So um, I just said to him at one point that when I was hurting, we were doing the 100 medicine ball sit-ups. When I was hurting, I tried to remember a Wim Hof quote, your body won't go where your mind won't take it. And so I tried to take my mind out off the pain and put my mind on something else. I thought about being at the beach or a few other things and it really helped to sort of stop me counting every single rep. But the trainer was counting it, I was counting so I didn't have to. So really uh, good tip for you guys when you're hurting, just take your mind off it, focus on something else and the pain does go away. Hey vlog, it is 3.30 p.m. Friday Arvo. I've just been in to see uh, my accountant, had to sign a few documents, get a few things sorted there, and also uh, had lunch with the boys. Now it's coaching. Hey guys, just a bit of context around this one. Skulls has been learning to use the wanger, the dog thrower, the sidearm, whatever you want to call it, um, left-handed. So that way he can replicate a bowler bowling right-handed and left-handed to the batter. So it's obviously him evolving his coaching and trying to take his coaching to the next level. Um, so this is just him practicing wanging the ball with his left arm just to replicate like a left arm bowler. Right,
No bad, a little bit up fish. Bottom of the head taking over. Ah, oh, good girl. That's it. Head was right over the top of that one. Wade into the ball. Point. I'm just challenging you. I want you to really try and watch them all the way. Good. Morning, legends. It is Saturday morning, 20 past nine. I've just got a video uh, uploading to YouTube here in the background. Um, video I just edited of Liam Blackford. Um, when I worked with him last week, Australian Under-16 player, you probably, if you follow our content, you know of Liam, we talk about him a bit. Um, he's coming to India with us again this year. Just been editing a video with him. Um, it's going up on YouTube uh, today, so getting that done. Got to get myself ready for cricket now. Uh, we've got a 45-minute drive down to Rockingham. First day of a two-day game, must-win game for us, Perth, to make finals, so... Uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Got to go and get my stuff ready, um, cook myself some breakfast, and then get going for the day. And we are in the change rooms down here at Rockingham Mandra. Benny Mike over here getting ready. Leicestershire cricket up. My Perth teammate here. Um, big day for us today, as I've already said. Um, we're going to go out and warm up now. Not sure what we're going to do if we win the toss. We're going to play some aggressive cricket this uh, match. So it might be batting or bowling. Who knows what we're going to take the game on. <laughs> We won the toss and we're batting. Jolie is at seven, I'm at eight. Strong middle to lower order. How are you feeling, Jolie? Yeah, confident. He's been whacking him, he's been hitting him well, so hopefully the team does well and we're not needed till later in the day, but if we're needed, hopefully we get it done. on top and a few cracks probably on a good length that quite quite big here it is from this end looks interesting used but green grass on top here's the crack just outside off stump might be challenging if it hits that could do anything vlog just sitting doing the side screen with a few of the boys we're currently three for 75 need a partnership with about 25 minutes till lunch What did you press that button on the side? Yeah, I've pressed it then. Shot skulls. Shot skulls. My um. Oh. I'll go for it. It's like it's 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 Yeah. 
and they bowled out of six for Come back. And you're in shot, 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 Let's go, let's go. What just say? It's even two, worse. Two, two, two. Heart and... Yeah, drop this. Yeah, yeah. Worst, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, So just to give you a little update on that game, Skulls ended up making 20 off 22, going at quite a high run rate. Um, try and up the intensity and up the run rate of the innings. The bloke who's batting with Joel Curtis, who he's played a bit with over in England, um, ended up making 83 of 131. So it was a great innings from Joel there and supported by Masty with 67. So Perth ended up with 292 runs and Rockingham and Andrew are currently 1 for 35, needing another 257. Um, that Perth needed to defend. And that's pretty much a wrap for Skulls Weekly episode three. Um, we hope you enjoyed it, but as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We put out heaps of content on all platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, podcast, Instagram, everything. So make sure you subscribe to everything, give us a follow and send us a message. We love chatting with you guys, so we can't wait to see you soon.